Well, howdy, how are you? I'm better, thanks for asking. I finally got some coffee in me today. But in this video, I wanna go over some things. I'm starting off the week with a little bit of news, a little bit of updates, kind of some unfortunate developments with our wonderful platform YouTube that have resulted in today's video and what I'm hoping to do to correct said issues moving forward. So with that said, let's go ahead and get into what all of that is in today's video. Let's have some fun on Cars Create. All right, let's have a seat here in front of the command center or something like that. We have to start today's video with this unfortunate title right here. YouTube continues to see an ad revenue decline. 2.6% drop year over year. Alphabet reported Tuesday its latest earnings, citing that YouTube saw ad revenue fall 2.6% year over year as advertisers pulled back from the platform due to economic uncertainty. Okay, so why does that matter to you? And why does it matter to me as a creator to have to express this as a problem? It matters a lot because when YouTube's revenue's down, when advertisers are paying YouTube less, then YouTube's paying me less. And I have unfortunately have seen that. And I'll go ahead and show you exactly what that looks like on my end. Go ahead into my analytics here. Let's go into my revenue. This is a pretty good graph of what's going on here. So we have May of 2022 here. Things were dropping. I had a little uptick here in revenue from a couple videos, just that kind of got a little extra views, but nothing crazy. I mean, we went from a low of $80 in July of 2022 to 136 in September of 2022, um, with August being in the middle at 92. So yeah, that's a, that's a nice big jump. But then you see this here, November 97. December 2022, 78. One of the lowest pays I've gotten since being monetized of January 2023, 62.33. Then it kind of goes up just a little bit, not much, $85 in March, 72 in April. I'm not expecting May to be a whole lot better. And it's been this way, unfortunately. My views, my, I, I, I'm publishing videos more often, I'm gaining subscribers left and right but my pay is either staying about the same or is fluctuating negatively um and that's got to do a lot with youtube's revenue taking a dump okay i'm punching in real quick a couple things i forgot to mention with all of this first of all i am not the only youtube are being affected by this in fact many many if not all major YouTubers are being affected by this. Just like most other major YouTubers, um, this is also a business for me. But fortunately on my end, I don't actually have a lot of things relying on the income, the revenue generated from the channel. Thankfully, I don't have employees to pay and overhead and rent and leasing and all these different you know, expenses associated with uh, certain businesses, especially if you're running it out of a shop or if you got multiple car loans for cars or, you know, just whatever it may be. Thankfully, I don't have any of that. If you haven't noticed, uh, a lot of other creators are basically utilizing sponsorships, paid sponsorships in their videos, almost every video now. And this is basically to subsidize the lack of or lost revenue from YouTube. And it's unfortunate that this is what we have to do now. I've been watching a lot of other creators, what they have to say about it, and it, it's a bummer. It really is. You just got to work a little bit harder now to achieve the same results. It just sucks because, you know, I kind of came into the YouTube game, looks like at a bad time, but hey, better late than never, right? And it's not YouTube's fault in this sense. It's just an economic problem because, yeah, the economy is not in good condition. A lot of companies are laying off people left and right. Their business is down. They can't afford to pay them. Cost of 
living is still is still going up rapidly. Inflation is still being very bothersome and it's not getting any better. And it's likely going to get even worse before there's any improvement in any of this. <sighs> because of the economy affecting YouTube, it has in return affected me. It's a full circle. On the bright side of all that, I think I might have a partial solution. At least I hope it will be somewhat beneficial uh, to my revenue issue. So I don't know if you know, but if you're a creator right now, YouTube wants you to do podcasts. Well, I don't have none. As you can see, no podcast. In fact, YouTube right now, for very unknown reasons, seem to want to push podcast and shorts. In fact, it is in one of their recent updates from the CEO, they want to push shorts. Why, I don't know. Because shorts are really no benefit at all to creators in terms of revenue generation. I have made I don't know, a couple dollars maybe out of all of the shorts I've had. A bad normal video will generate more money than a good shorts video. And by a good shorts video for me, I'm talking about like five, 10,000 views. It's not good. And I don't know why YouTube is pushing that um, and, and pushing creators to create that content when it has no monetary benefit whatsoever. Um, maybe that is the point. Depends if you're wearing a tinfoil hat or not. But podcasts, in the sense of YouTube video podcasts, now they are beneficial for creators in multiple ways, especially just for uh, monetizing through YouTube because they're generally longer form videos that will have longer watch durations that will usually play in more ads throughout the segment you know a lot of podcasts are usually anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour some are a little bit longer and it's that long form content that a lot of things are going to now not to mention podcasts can also be distributed on multiple different platforms as an audio only which is what they originally were an audio only source of content so i'm like you know what everyone else is doing it youtube is pretty much giving me no other options but to start pushing shorts and start pushing podcasts, video podcast. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, in fact, this month I have decided that all month long I'm going to do my own kind of month of freedom, but just kind of in, in an easier way for me to push shorts even more is that from today, May 1st to May 30th, I get it, there's 31 days in May, but 30 days of May sounds better. <laughs> I'm gonna do a shorts video every day, almost all month long, and see how that helps. Now, shorts have helped with subscribers. They just don't usually seem to cross over too well to my long form, my normal content. Some do, some don't. Um, but I'm seeing maybe, what I'm hoping is after 30 days of shorts, that will actually kind of tickle the algorithm a little bit and help YouTube make my channel more discoverable. So hopefully I get more subscribers that way who are going to end up seeing my normal videos. And that's what I want. On top of shorts and podcasts, I'm gonna go back to try doing live streaming. Now that's not set in stone because I'm not sure if my internet is good enough for live streaming. I have to try. So I will eventually do a test live stream sometime. Not sure when, maybe this week or whatever, uh, just to see how well the connection is and see if my internet can handle it, handle the data. And if it works well, then I will start doing live streams. My idea is that I'm going to do a podcast, a video podcast, which will probably end up being every couple weeks to start maybe, maybe once a month, because I'm not sure exactly how well they're gonna do. And I wanna make sure I have a few episodes already lined up in case anything gets in the way. So I might do just once a month, then maybe twice a month, and you know, hopefully once a week perhaps. Let's say the podcast on a Monday, and then on Friday have like a live stream so we can all talk about what the podcast was about together. And I thought that would be kind of a cool like community like content thing. And I think that would be nice to help more people engage. That's my goal on top of all the other normal crazy stuff I do. None of that's going away. It's just 
all this other stuff as an addition. So yeah, it's an extremely large load of extra work that I'm gonna have to do now. In fact, I don't know if you've noticed, but I have turned my room into a production studio. I mean, I have somewhat everything I think I need to start. So I have my lights here. This is my key light. Uh, I have a fill light here that has a really cool uh, pink glow. Uh, there it goes. I'm turning it on. It's kind of hard to see. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead. I'm going to shut the blind here. I'm going to go ahead and give you a, a little sneak peek of how everything looks. I mean, and it's still really bright because I'm going to have to film these close tonight so the light from outside isn't a problem. But then I have that there. I have this light here. Turn on the key light here. Got my camera over here. All this is set up to stream right through the computer. So let's go ahead and open up my streaming software. So this is what you're gonna see right here, pretty cool, huh? And of course I got my mic right here. And uh, here, I'll go ahead and just give you a little bit of a sample of what this is all gonna sound like. It sounds like I'm on the radio. You can listen to me with this voice. <laughs> I'm not gonna be talking like that, but it's still pretty funny, right? <laughs> Anyways, this is the audio and the video that you will be seeing from both live streams, hopefully if they work, but most importantly, the podcast and that's it pretty sweet setup right so i spent god a lot of time a lot setting all of this up making sure everything's working it's taken me this whole past weekend with probably a total of seven maybe eight hours believe it or not in setting all of this up because you know it's not just putting lights here and every there everywhere i had to actually make some filter gel filters here to get that pink color. So you have to take things apart to do, make that work. I had to make sure the lights were where I want. This light is positioned here. So that lights there in this corner actually cuts off. So you get pink here, blue here, and there's a separation with the corner. Like that all takes time to figure out. This was not how I originally had this set up because I didn't want to block my entire closet door where all my stuff is. But what I had to do, if I ever needed to recall this setup, if you look closely on the floor, I have little strips of tape marking off where all the feet go on the tripod. I have everything saved on the camera, all the camera settings saved. That way if anything gets messed up, I can go ahead and reset everything with the focus and all the internal settings. I had to figure out what settings work the best with this setup. And yeah, it's a lot of work. So I hope with all that work that it will uh, pay off and that this type of content will do well. So we'll go ahead and see. But that's that update. And pretty much, I mean, I think that's, that's most of what I wanted to talk about. Um, nothing really about the car. Car's fine. I still have a uh, video coming up that will be uploaded Wednesday. A fun new test, testing exactly how much the factory ECU can add timing based off octane. The results may surprise you. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. Holy moly. Wow. Anyways, with that said, I think I'm just gonna wrap it up here for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, share with everyone you know, and when you see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, keep a lookout for next true car enthusiast video.